We're very interested in what's going on in the Arctic. So the Arctic is warming quite quickly, two times the rate of the rest of the globe, um, and changes in the Arctic affect the rest of the Earth system. What we're doing in this project is looking at predicting loss of sea ice and, and how the interactions of sea ice with the atmosphere and ocean in the Arctic can either accelerate or retard that loss. So we have sort of two areas where we're looking at a data analytics component, where we're creating a data model for September sea ice. And we have a modeling component where we're using the energy exascale Earth system model in a low resolution um, form to look at a, a sensitivity analysis for how much change we can expect to see in sea ice. We do get good predictive capabilities with these models. What we wanted to do um, to extend this is to look at a feature analysis. So the inputs into that data model, what are the most important inputs for the output? Um, and we're comparing that not just with observational data, but we're using five ensemble members from E3SM to look at the most important features in, in, in a model trained with with observations and simulations. Um, and what's interesting is we found that um, there's a high amount of variance in the important features, and that's really due to a lot of correlation in the inputs. And so this is something that we weren't expecting it to be, um, to have this much variance, but it's um, interesting and we're actually looking more at, at culling and combining some of our, of our inputs to the model to see if we can get um, more uh, information on what would be the most significant features. I think there's a lot of opportunity to use different machine learning techniques to understand what's going on in expensive coupled models and also to understand the difference between observations and coupled models. And so that's kind of what we were trying to do with the feature analysis in comparing the, the simulation trained machine learned model and the, and the observationally trained machine learned model. The results we have seem to indicate that this ultra low resolution model is kind of a good su surrogate for the overall or Earth system model at higher resolutions. And so we can get useful and good information running some of these large ensembles with the low resolution. It's a diverse group that has some experience both in the computational side and in the, the physics side of the Arctic. We're excited about having our results published. We're hoping to um, get interest in, in the use of a ultra low resolution model for some um, multi-fidelity uncertainty quantification going forward in the future, as well as an interest in, in more data modeling to compare simulations and observational data. The only way we can really understand predict what's going to happen in the future is to is to run these large-scale models and the better we can make these models the more we understand you know their uncertainty or their variability the the better our predictions will be